Greetings to the parents, other family members, friends, classmates, college faculty, staff, and alumni. My name is Jim Minkler, president of Grays Harbor College. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the Honorable Mr. Art Blavelt, chair of the Grays Harbor College Board of Trustees, who will deliver the welcome. Mr. Blavelt. Thank you, Jim. Welcome to your 2020 graduation ceremony at Grays Harbor College. On behalf of myself and the rest of the Board of Trustees, I am pleased and proud to congratulate you on your achievements here at Grays Harbor College. I thank the faculty, staff, and administration for the energy and dedication that they have shown in helping you accomplish this success. I want to thank and show appreciation for the people in your lives that have helped you in this journey to graduation. Your parents, grandparents, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, friends, and co-workers who have helped you along the way deserve thanks from our college community and from you. Thank you to all of the organizations and people who through their generous contributions to your future have created and funded the scholarships, grants, and other financial help that has helped many of you to reach your goal. I want to thank you for the support that I know you will give to future students at Grace Harbor who will walk the same hallways that you have. Encourage those you know to take advantage of the educational opportunities offered here by supporting their journey to a future Grace Harbor College ceremony. Today we are conducting a virtual graduation ceremony, but it's a real event in your lives. Graduation will open up new opportunities to you and your family. You don't need to sit on stackable steel chairs outside, wondering when the rain is going to start or when the speeches will end in order to feel the pride of your accomplishment. I don't need to shake your hands and look into your eyes to see the inner strength and dedication that has made you a Grace Harbor College graduate. Be proud and build on your success. I also want to recognize another person who has helped you, me, and everyone at Grace Harbor College as you worked your way towards graduation. Sandy Zelasco is determined to retire at the end of this year after 37 years with the college. She has served four college presidents, 23 different board members over those years. This year she has been awarded the state's College Trustee Association's Professional Staff Member Award and will receive that award at a ceremony later this year. Sandy, we are grateful for your service and wish you a happy retirement. Again, welcome and thank you to all who have made this celebration of our graduation su success a reality, virtually. GHC's first graduating class was recognized in the commencement ceremony of 1932. We have not missed a year since, and despite the challenges, we were not about to miss an opportunity to celebrate the success for the class of 2020. This is my fourth GHC graduation ceremony. At my first graduation, we all crowded under the series of white uh, tents on campus. My second and third graduations, clearly, we continue to have too many graduates for the giant tents, so we moved our ceremony to Stewart Field. There was room for everyone, and so naturally, we made a similar plan for the class of 2020. We all know what happened next, the unbelievable. While our outstanding and flexible faculty scurried to convert classes to online formats and support staff found new ways to deliver services remotely, we all agreed to honor the class of 2020 with as much ceremony, celebration, and pomp despite the circumstances. The class of 2020 had to overcome a great deal of adversity in the rapid changes of their last two quarters at GHC. But our graduates were not to be denied of achieving their academic goals. Graduates, I commend you for never giving up. You found a way to overcome all the obstacles. No doubt, if you are surrounded by family and friends, they were instrumental in helping you achieve success, supporting and encouraging you, perhaps listening to you vent from time to time, but making sure you stayed on your course, which brings you to this special accomplishment tonight. 
please take a minute and thank them for their help. And yes, if they are within your household, you may give them a hug and give them a high five. In addition to the faculty, many other GHC staff are participating virtually in tonight's ceremony. They too are elated to experience and honor your achievement. If you feel so inclined to thank the faculty and staff who helped you along the way, know they would appreciate hearing from you and learn about your successes in your future. On your screens a moment ago, you watched as our nation's flag was shown. And fitting with that, we give our appreciation of the freedoms that flag stands for and the many sacrifices made to maintain those freedoms by our active military service and veteran graduates. Our graduating class of 2020 includes veterans who have so bravely served our country, and we thank each of you for your service and involvement as a GHC student. Our veteran graduates receive a red, white, and blue cord to wear and are noted in the program with a special symbol. The college also offers Running Start, a program for high school juniors and seniors who want a jump start for college. Some Running Start students finish their last two years of high school and their first two years of college at the same time. Very impressive. And this year, we have a record number of 73 of these Running Start students who are graduating with two degrees, one from GHC and one from their high school. Grace Harbor College focuses on academic achievement, and we want to recognize several individuals and their accomplishments. I cannot see what you are wearing during this virtual graduation. However, it is possible graduates who are wearing yellow color cords are members of the college's chapter of Phi Theta Kappa Scholastic Honorary. Their names are listed in our program. Members must have a 3.0 cumulative grade point average with at least one quarter at a 3.5 GPA or higher. We have numerous PTK members graduating with the class of 2020. Congratulations, PTK. We have several significant year-end awards that we typically announce during graduation. Since I cannot personally introduce you to each of these individuals, we will virtually recognize them shortly after I describe the different awards. Faculty and staff nominate students for the Outstanding Student Award. This year, we have two awards, one for Outstanding Sophomore Graduate and another for the Outstanding Bachelor of Applied Science Graduate. Each student selected will receive a $500 award. Outstanding Sophomore Student Graduate Shelley Hoffman, Associate in Arts Outstanding Bachelors of Applied Science Student Graduate Taylor Miller, Bachelors of Applied Science in Organizational Management Next, I want to acknowledge our top 10 students. These students have their highest GPAs in the Grace Harbor College Class of 2020 many even earning perfect 4.0s. The academic accomplishments are indeed something to admire and I congratulate them on this achievement. Grays Harbor College Top 12 Graduates Erica Baumhoff Megan Clark Lily Darren Eric Eng William Gross Melissa May Shelby Michaelbrink Brittany Patrick Casey Radke, Emma Terrence, Robert Thomas, Gracie Thompson. Now it's my pleasure to introduce, for the second year in a row, our Associated Student Body President, Mr. Taylor Miller. Taylor assumed the president position midway through last year and continued serving the students of Grays Harbor College for the 2019-2020 year. Not only has he earned the associate, three associate degrees from GHC, but now he has to, uh, he's getting to add his Bachelor's of Applied Science and Organizational Management to his resume tonight. Please help me welcome Taylor Miller to address his graduating class of 2020. Taylor? Good evening, everyone. I would like to welcome and thank you all for watching as we celebrate the academic achievement of Grace Harbor College, Class of 2020. My name is Taylor Miller, and I had the honor for the past two school years of serving as the Associated Students of Grace Harbor College Student Body President. When trying to find a quote that stood out to me about achieving success and describing the Grace Harbor College experience, it was hard to find one that would sum up the type of experience that we have went through during our time here at Grace Harbor College. One day we were taking classes in person, and the next day we've been moved to remote learning. 
but something had stayed the same throughout our trip here at Grace Harbor College. It is our passion for success and the commitment that our professors and college administration provided in making sure we were getting an enriching learning experience in our time here. So the quote that I found to describe our experience here at Grace Harbor College, the key to success is to focus on the goals, not the obstacles. I believe this quote is especially true this year with all the obstacles that we may have seen with those tests, papers, finals, and COVID-19. But we didn't let those obstacles stop you from being able to succeed and be successful. When I decided to go to Grace Harbor College, my plan was to spend my two years here and earn my associate's degree and then transfer to another college and earn my bachelor's degree. That was my plan and goals. I was not planning to get involved on campus or do anything besides what was required to earn my associate's degree. However, for some reason, after being on campus for a bit, I decided to step outside my comfort zone and join the student government and being part of the ASGHC executive board has influenced me to have a great passion and fight for this campus. I stand here four plus years with my first quarter at GHC with my associates, bachelors, and had the honor of serving as the student body president. I could have never imagine these steps that put me on this path to success, but all the opportunities and the areas of growth have been able for me at, during my time here at GHC. As I stand here tonight, I have been able to see many students that put the same or more amount of passion into the educational success and college experience as I have. You all not only excelled in the classroom as students, but also outside the classroom and being part of the campus culture and taking part of the, in Bishop Center productions, competing in athletics, volunteering on and off campus, being part of clubs. One of my favorite things about Grace Harbor College is all the different backgrounds, stories, and experience that make up our student body. We have 16-year-old running start students who are trying to have a head start in college while still being in high school. Then we have students who decided to return to school after 20 years. The diversity of age, goals, and experiences on campus is something very special to Grace Harbor College. Many of our students are overcoming many obstacles in life, overcoming homelessness, being a single parent, overcoming a learning disability. These same students will now have the ability to go out in the world and do whatever they can set their dreams toward, set their minds to. Grace Harbor College has helped all of you towards your steps to assess. Let we'll take a second and give the class of 2020 a round of applause for their accomplishments. In addition to my speech tonight, I have the great honor to award the 2019-2020 Faculty of Excellence Award to many, one of the many uh, deserving faculty members that helped feature our success. Every year, the student body nominates faculty the, for the Faculty of Excellence Award. This award is meant to recognize instructors that appreciate outstanding students efforts, use interactive and creative teaching techniques, actually contribute to the students' success and provide accessible commitment to students outside the classroom. This year, there were many faculty members nominated for this award, but one stood out among the nominations. At this time, I'm pleased and excited to announce the 2019-2020 Faculty Excellence Award to Paula Frankie. This year's next guest yes speaker is a great example of a GHC success story. And if ever a family epitomized a GHC Choker family, this would have to be attributed to our speaker's family. We are honored tonight to have the mayor of Hoquiam and GHC alum, Mr. Ben Winkleman, share some of his thoughts about the value of a college education in dealing with the rapidly changing times, something our 2020 graduates can definitely re relate with. Ben and his father actually had several classes together while he attended GHC. And his father, mother, and one of his youngest brothers all graduated from GHC at the same time. Three of the four Winkleman brothers all graduated from GHC. And to top that off, Ben's wife is also a GHC alum. Perhaps it is fitting that so many of the Winkleman family were chokers. They actually lived in the last logging camp, one of the last logging camps in the United States at Camp Grisdale up in the Winucci River drainage. From GHC, Ben went to the Washington State University Veterinary School, but eventually changed his major to psychology. After attaining his bachelor's in that field, he was accepted into the Gonzaga Law School. Upon graduation, he has been a partner in the Parker, Winkleman, and Parker Law Firm in Hoquiam, the vice president and co-owner of Grace Harbor Unders, 
And as well as being the mayor of Hoquiam, he is the father of three daughters, which no doubt also keep Ben and his wife busy. It is an honor to introduce to you now, Mayor Ben Winkleman. Ben? Grace Harbor College graduating class of 2020. A group of magic coins sipping lemonade. What's a metaphor? A figure of speech in which a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. And maybe the question is more, what is an analogy? A thing that's comparable to something else in significant respects. For some time now, I've been considering the metaphor in that people are like monetary coins in many ways. So how is the Grace Harbor College Class of 2020 a group of magic coins sipping lemonade? Let me tell you. First imagine in your own mind's eye a few coins gathering around a table to drink some lemonade together. Kind of funny, right? You, but you can see it. Uh, cartoons, if you will. Advancing this metaphor, consider this. Coins and people are made of many different shapes, sizes, and colors. Coins have two faces, and many have different historical events People are places depicted in pictures, logos, and designs on them. When a coin is new, it's usually very fine detailed edges, often shiny and fresh, with a birth year depicted on the coin. Sometimes the coins travel local to their origin, and other times they travel all over the world. Some coins remain protected and locked in vaults, safes, and personal stashes for many years, while others are immediately exchanged for goods or services. Coins belong to one country, but are often accepted or rejected in other countries. Every coin has a certain value placed upon them by the person who holds them. Depending on the coin's age, use, experiences, and treatment, the opinion of value expressed by others can vary dramatically, but all coins have worth. With time, many coins become dirty and worn. Some bend, scratch, and deteriorate as they're abused or pressured into use over the years. The pictures and edges smooth over and begin to fade. How the coins handle this use depends on what the coin is made of and how they spend their lifetime. Sometimes coins get lost, sometimes coins get found. Every once in a while, someone gets curious about a coin and wonders about the life it has led. When I was young, I found a five centimes coin made in the year 1893, and I wondered what it was made of, where it was made, where it had traveled, and how it ended up in the dirt behind my house in Montesano 90 years later. I still have the coin today. A dirty old coin may be found in some condition that is difficult to tell what it's made of, where it came from, and determine what it's actually worth. When the curious finder decides to clean an old coin and wipe away the corrosion to find what's underneath, to return the shine or learn more about its story, it can be an exciting story, as the coin surely has one to tell. The person who finds the story and has this new value or worth for the coin that may be completely unrelated to its original value or worth. That person dreams about what the coin went through and why it's in such a condition. When shown to another person, they may be unimpressed with what's underneath, and yet a third person may say the value of the coin was wiped away with the tarnish and rust because that's where the real story came from. For me, what a coin is worth depends a lot on what I believe is underneath the tarnish and rust. I kind of like a coin that's shows that it went out there and it did something. It saw the world and became part of a transaction or trade that in a small or a great way changed the world. I love the story that's told by the imagination of a holder of an old coin. Sometimes a coin is freshly minted. It has little experience, and I want this coin to be part of something bigger. But here is where the metaphoric differences are found. A fresh coin and a young person are different in that the person is emotional has feelings, and will probably not live to be hundreds of years old. We tarnish and rust faster, and our life experiences leave deeper marks. Your Grace Harbor College professors, coaches, teachers, and your family and friends have tested you. They gave you life experience, and they helped you to decide what you were made of. In an effort to prepare you for the value and to encourage you to value what you and your life have to offer each other. Unlike a coin, you're not held or owned by others, and others do not declare your worth. You have an opportunity and an obligation to yourself to decide if you, like a magic coin, are going to wipe away the rust and tarnish, or if you are going to carry your marks with pride and the knowledge learned from your many experiences. 
Your parents and other family and friends may never understand how you are marked by an experience, even if they believe their experience to be the same. Ask your coaches, family, and friends to help you find out what you're made of and to help you wipe away the tarnish and rust. Or, if you want to be recognized for your experiences and keep your tarnish and rust and scars, those, wear those marks with pride, with historical value, and please tell your story so we can all appreciate the value of your worth, the worth that you placed upon yourself. I hope this analogy and metaphor helps you recognize the magic part of being a coin. No one decides what you are worth in your heart and in your soul, but through the magic of humanity, your self-talk, perspective, and attitude will help you decide of yourself how much you are worth and how you wish to be viewed by others. I hope you quickly realize that your unique experiences in life and schooling will help you to identify that you are priceless. We are all unique, though we may have been minted from similar metals, our experiences make us stand out, and some of us are tarnished and rusty, and others in nearly mint condition. But always treasure yourself, and do not let others determine your worth. This coin is one of my favorites, and I want to show you this coin. This is a 1797 Great Britain twopence. It's one of the largest and heaviest coins of its time. This coin was minted by the very first steam engine mint over 220 years ago. The coin could buy you a week's worth of candles when it was made. In its home country, it would represent about an hour's pay on a 12-hour workday. So what was going on in Great Britain in 1797? Well, that year, three of the stones making up Stonehenge fell due to a heavy frost. On January 15th of that year, London haberdasher John Hetherington wore the first top hat in public and attracted large crowds of onlookers and was later fined 50 pounds for causing a public nuisance. What was happening here in the United States in 1797? Well, we changed from President George Washington to President John Adams in March of that year. And in May, the first ship of the United States Navy was commissioned. Speaking of ships, our very own original tall ship, the Lady Washington, was built on the East Coast and led by Captain Robert Gray in 1787. Nearly 10 years later, the Lady Washington was caught between Spanish and British traders in the, right here in the Pacific Northwest. The original Lady Washington had its final voyage the year that my coin was minted. A sailor's journal described the storm and a chain of events and a fateful day of July of 1797 that led the Lady Washington to run aground and break up in the Philippines as they attempted to take shelter in the mouth of a river there. So the 1797 British cartwheel twopence is made of all copper, and this particular coin is apparently quite a history in its 220 years of life. The coin could have been actually used between the British and Spanish traders with indigenous people right here in Grays Harbor County. The coin would have been newly minted at the time with fine edges and little experience. To me, this coin has an amazing history and although almost completely worn down, it has a lot of value to me because of the story that's behind it. I guess you can take it or leave it, call me silly if you like, but that's my two pence, you get it? Uh, find a coin, meet a new person and appreciate their individual history. Learn about them and use your experiences and tools that you've gained through your life experiences and your formal education to choose a perspective that finds opportunity. When you find a beat up old coin or a person that seems like they've been through it all, let them share with you their value. Reach into your pocket, your purse, or that jar of coins and take a close look at a few of them. I wanna sign you with a task to investigate what the world was like when that coin was minted. What could you buy with that coin in that time? Where do you think the coin has traveled since it was made? Was it part of a ransom, a war, or a major life-changing purchase? Or did it spend its days buying candy, newspapers, and the small but important things? Was it stored away as a treasure by a little girl or boy? Or was it spent day after day by adults in some large city? If you want to wipe away the tarnish and see if you can make this coin shine again, then you can do that because it's yours. If you like that the coin is scratched, worn, and tarnished or rusty, then leave it that way. 
If you lose a coin, oh well. It'll be found again one day and recognized again for its value by the finder of this coin. If you get a scratch or a bend from one of your experiences, then be strong. Think about what you're made of and keep your identity and worth as you wish. Brush it off or shine it up or take the mark and be proud of what you've endured and experienced. You and only you decide your value no matter what happens. So go out and experience life, what it has to offer and be proud of the things you get involved in, whether you view them as a failure or a success, the experience makes you who you are. If you're lost and you want to be found, then reach out and speak to those around you. There are so many people in this world and many believe that life is priceless no matter where you came from, what you've done, or where you plan to go. It does seem cliche to mention making lemonade from lemons. However, please consider this. Just like you decide what your own value is, you decide how to handle and deal with, or let's say invest the lemons that you will surely be served over your time on earth. Maybe life serves you lemons more often than the other people around you, or perhaps your lemons are particularly bitter or sour. You decide if your perspective allows you to make lemonade with your lemons. You can let the lemons rot and go bad sitting on a counter and taking up space, or you can test them, squeeze them, taste them, and see if what you have creates an opportunity to make lemonade just the way you like. Some like more sugar or have to add more sweetness because of the conditions of the lemons that are served to them. Others like the sour lemonade and much less lemon juice. Add municipal water, bottled water, artesian spring watered, or melted icebergs breaking off the North Pole if you have to. But take your lemons, do something with them. If you don't like lemonade, do your best to make up lemonade for those you love, those you work with. And some people, they like lemonade served warm after soaking in the rays of the summer sun, and others ice cold, ice cold poured over lavender or mint and other spices to increase the experience. But depending on what type of lemonade you are serving and how you plan to serve it, you get to choose those who you will share your lemonade with. One of the best ways to remove the patina, that brown oxidation off of a penny or old coin, is by using the low levels of acids that are naturally found in lemon juice, so be careful how you serve your lemonade to others as they may not wish to have a bright orange copper color to them anymore. Share your lemonade, appreciate the value gained through the tools that you've gained in life experience and formal education. If lemons come from loss, despair, isolation, or a failure, use your patina to find a perspective that allows you to increase your value, stand tall, and be proud, and look to the future with optimism. Your experiences in life and the lemons you have already received were probably challenging while you were attending Race Harbor College. Your graduation is unique and COVID-19 will leave its mark on our generation and society for many years to come. Make this a mark that you're proud of. Those of you who can use the tolls of life experience and education best will prevail in the long run and be better for the experiences that you've had. Whether you plan to advance your degree with more formal education or take yourself out into the world, of entrepreneurship, trade, profession, or being the curator of those newly minted coins in your home. Remember to stand proud, stand tall, and fight to gain more experience with the tools that you've acquired, perspective that matters, and tell your fellow people, employers, and family what you are worth. Be part of the Grace Harbor College graduating class of 2020, a group of magic coins carefully sipping lemonade who will take life's lemons and drink lemonade with the magic coins as they reflect upon history, hard science, technical skills, and the social experiences that make us all who we are. Be a magic coin sipping lemonade. Thank you, congratulations, and good night. I would like to now introduce you to some mystery guests. Chances are you will recognize them as people who need no introduction. Congratulations, class of 2020. Russell Wilson here. For all the years, you guys are finally here. You guys have made it. Why not you? Let's keep it going. Let's keep believing. Let's stay positive. Let's shoot for the stars. And I just want to say congratulations. Well done. You guys have done it. You've made it. I believe in you guys. We believe in you guys. And now on to the rest of our MVPs. See you guys. Just want to say, Congratulations, you guys. This pandemic sucks.
Now go Huskies and go Islanders and go all your other favorite teams where you are. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Wish you all the best um, going forward and you know on your next adventure. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Howard Bayon, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020, you finally did it. Congratulations and good luck to all of you. Tonight, for the first time in many years, joining the college graduation ceremony are over 30 students who reached a very important personal goal and life milestone, completing high school. This year's high school graduates range in age from 17 to 50, and each graduate, just like most of you gra college graduates, has had challenges to overcome to accomplish this goal. Some graduates have worked on this goal one class at a time over several years while working full time, and some have completed their GED in one quarter and moved on to a degree program. Some graduates are single parents, balancing family, work, and school, and a couple of graduates had a baby during this year. The first students we will honor are students who definitely made a decision to change their life path. There are fewer and fewer jobs that do not require proof of high, a high school diploma or a GED. We hope you will continue to further your education. Stay here at GHC. Enroll in one of our workforce or academic programs. Keep GHC in your future. If you are one of these students watching with family and friends, pat yourself on the back and let everyone with you share their congratula congratulations. We know how hard you have worked. High school diploma and GEDs. Jamie Barina, high school equivalency. Madison Enholm, high school equivalency. Shannon Harrington, high school equivalency. Monique Job, High School Equivalency. Zach Ross, High School Equivalency. Jesse Wanger, High School Equivalency. Mariah Badillo Garcia, High School Diploma. Kendra Blankenship, High School Diploma. Mashaila Buckmaster, High School Diploma. Jessica Byers, High School Diploma. Alexandra Bile, High School Diploma. Crystal Clark, High School Diploma. Allison Connor, High School Diploma. Darcy Cookson, High School Diploma. Jessica Dillon, High School Diploma. Christina Haver, High School Diploma. Tim Johnson, High School Diploma. Victoria Kambukas, High School Diploma. Tammy Kruger, High School Diploma. Brandy Martinez, High School Diploma. Mary Membreno, High School Diploma. I want to thank my husband, Raul Membreno, and my children, Sophia, Mateo, and Leo Membreno, and the rest of my family for helping me through this. Thank you. Natividad Morales Mendez, High School Diploma. Laura Ortega, High School Diploma. Benjamin Rosan, High School Diploma. Charles Ruzka, High School Diploma. Cheyenne Sandin, High School Diploma. Leanna Sansom, High School Diploma. Brooke Simonson, High School Diploma. Melanie Summers, High School Diploma. 
Jessica Stevenson, high school diploma. Logan Sweeney, high school diploma. Evo Worth, high school diploma. The majority of graduates this evening are being awarded associate degrees from our vast offerings, both for academic transfer and for workforce training. We will now recognize our graduates earning a variety of associate degrees. Associate degrees. Jonathan Abrams, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science. Hey, just want to say thank you to my friends and family and GHC staff and faculty. Have a great 2020. Dylan Adair, Associate in Applied Science, Forestry Technician. Matthew Alejandro, Associate in Arts. Ali Ansich, Associate in Arts. Letha Anderson, Associate in Arts. Abigail Andrews, Associate in Arts. Raymond Arden, Associate in Arts. Natasha Armstrong, Associate in Arts. Cassidy Arrington, Associate in Arts. Jolene Avalos, Associate in Nursing. Courtney Bailey, Associate in Arts. Brian Baker, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Congratulations, Class of 2020. You're never too old to follow your dreams and to be an inspiration to those around you. Lane, this is for you, buddy. Okira Banks, Associate in Arts. Justin Barber, Associate in Arts. Nathan Barker House, Associate in Applied Science, Accounting. I'm very proud to be a member of Class 2020 here at Grace Harbor College. Very excited to be graduating with my associate's degree, and I can't wait to see what's in store next. Hannah Bertzel, Associate in Arts. Brenda Barrera, Associate in Arts. Sky Bartell, Associate in Arts. Angela Beckley, Associate in Nursing. Class of 2020, perfect vision. Elijah Bell, Associate in Business. James Bell, Associate in Science. Cooper Benfield, Associate in Arts. Vanessa Berndt, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Cassandra Barry, Associate in Nursing. Brandon Betts, Associate in Technology, Welding. Lilith Beal, Associate in Science. Hunter Birdsall, Associate in Arts. Erica Baumhoff, Associate in Arts. I am so proud to be part of the Class of 2020 as a Running Start student. Congratulations, everyone. Sam Borcherding, Associate in Arts. Travis Bosio, Associate in Science. Krishna Bobak, Associate in Arts, Associate in Pre-Nursing. Erica Bobak, Associate in Applied Science, Accounting. Lauren Boyle, Associate in Biology, Associate in Arts. Kennedy Bridges, Associate in Arts. Duncan Briggs, Associate in Biology. Jason Briggs, Associate in Arts. Patricia Busio, Associate in Arts. 
Carly Beth Bucklin, Associate in Arts. Virginia Bagarin, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Robert Burgard, Associate in Arts, Associate in Business. Caitlin Burroughs, Associate in Arts. Steve Bushman, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. Armani Bird, Associate in Arts. Austin Kane, Associate in Applied Science, Forestry Technician. Madeline Kane, Associate in Arts. Ian Caldwell, Associate in Arts. Bryson Carley, Associate in Technology, Welding. Anne Jeanette Carney, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Grace Carasino, Associate in Arts. Jacqueline Rose Ona Castro, Associate in Arts. Kimberly Castro, Associate in Nursing. Brittany Charlton, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. Violet Chavez, Associate in Pre-Nursing. As a proud graduate of class of 2020, I would love to thank my whole family for always believing in me and supporting me. Mami, te quiero mucho. Chanel, I love you so much. Also, congratulations to everybody else. Trace Christensen, Associate in Arts. Eravi Christensen McLaughlin, Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice, Associate in Applied Sciences, Human Services. Jonathan Church, Associate in Business. I can't believe I'm getting my degree today. I'd like to thank my wife and kids and everybody who's helped support me. Andres Cisneros Cornejo, Associate in Science. Angelica Clark, Associate in Arts. Megan Clark, Associate in Arts. Cassidy Clevenger, Associate in Science. Taylor Coker, Associate in Arts. Ryan Cole, Associate in Science. Bruce Collier, Associate in Arts. Caitlin Corey, Associate in Arts. Hi, I'm Caitlin Corey and I'm graduating Grace Harbor College as a running start student. I'd like to thank my friends, family, and professors for helping me get this far. Go Chokers! Rebecca Cosden, Associate in Nursing. Katie Councilman, Associate in Science. Olivia Counts, Associate in Arts. So 2020 has been a year, but um, thanks mom, dad, friends, and family. Um, congrats class of 2020. Lauren Christine Cox, Associate in Arts. Alana Cross, Associate in Applied Science, Forestry Technician. Monica Cuevas Cerda, Associate in Applied Science, Business Management. Isabella Da Silva, Associate in Arts. Lily Darren, Associate in Arts. Emily Deal, Associate in Arts. Maria A. Dididius, Associate in Nursing. Emily Delanoy, Associate in Arts. Caitlin Denny, Associate in Arts. Mercedes Jordan Denny, Associate in Arts. Haley Depoe, Associate in Arts. Lisa DeRoche, Associate in Nursing. Seth Deerkop, Associate in Pre-Nursing. 
Teresa Doe, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. I want to thank my family and friends for supporting me through the last few years. I would have never made it without you. Thank you. Caitlin C. Doyle, Associate in Arts. Caitlin Doyle, Associate in Arts. Sean Dunn, Associate in Arts. Leslie Duran, Associate in Arts, Associate in Business. Alyssa Edwards, Associate in Arts. Patrick Edwards, Associate in Arts. Bryce England, Associate in Arts. Elicio Escobar Ibanez, Associate in Arts. Alan Espinoza, Associate in Arts. Reese Evans, Associate in Arts. Yuvia Sierra Figueroa, High School Diploma, Associate in Arts. Hi everyone, I'm so happy to be at this point of my life. I want to thank my mom and my family for believing and being with me on this important day. Congratulations, class of 2020. Angel Figueroa, Associate in Arts. I just want to say congratulations to all the graduates. And I would also like to say gracias to all the people who supported me throughout my time at GHC. Mason Fitzpatrick, Associate in Arts. Brandon Ford, Associate in Arts. Chantel Ford, Associate in Arts. Andrea Frankie, Associate in Nursing. Thank you to everyone who supported me through my journey. I'm so grateful to be graduating with my Associates in Nursing and start working as a nurse this summer. Leah Frenchman, Associate in Arts, Reservation Based. Malia Fry, Associate in Nursing. Reese Garcia, Associate in Arts. Cesar Garcia Romero, Associate in Pre-Nursing. Brandy Gardner, Associate in Applied Science, Business Management. Julia Gaynor, Associate in Arts. Alexander Gear, Associate in Music. Todd Gladsho, Associate in Arts. Edward Glassman, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. Courtney Glenn, Associate in Arts. Jennifer Glarup, Associate in Nursing. Bailey Golding, Associate in Arts. I'd like to thank my family for their support in everything that I've done, and I'm excited to continue on my path up at Western Washington University next fall as an elementary education major. Michaela Graves, Associate in Nursing. Brennan Gray, Associate in Applied Science, Forestry Technician. Teresa Green, Associate in Arts. William Gross, Associate in Arts. Sarah Grover, Associate in Applied Science, Business Technology. Megumi Pamela Hager, Associate in Technology, Welding. Haley Hall, Associate in Applied Science, Forestry Technician, Associate in Arts. Greg Halverson, Associate in Applied Science, Business Technology. Paige Hammer, Associate in Arts. Avery Harland, Associate in Arts. Isabel Harnegy, Associate in Arts. 
Regan Harnagy, Associate in Arts. Kendall Harner, Associate in Pre-Nursing, Associate in Arts. Bailey Harper, Associate in Pre-Nursing, Associate in Arts. Violet Harty, Associate in Arts. Rochelle Harville, Associate in Applied Sciences, Chemical Dependency. Breathe deep, Class of 2020. It was a long, hard two years, but we did it. Congratulations. David Haviland, Associate in Arts. Colby Haviland, Associate in Arts. Araya Hayes, Associate in Arts. Maya Hurd, Associate in Pre-Nursing. Johnny Heath, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. Riley Heck, Associate in Technology, Diesel Technology. Miranda Heckard, Associate in Arts. Carly Hekala, Associate in Arts. Tatton Hensley, Associate in Arts. Crystal Hermanegildo, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. We did a class of 2020. Congratulations and thank you to everybody that has supported me during this time at GHC. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Jordan Herrera, Associate in Arts. Ali Jembo, Associate in Arts. Krista Hoff, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Shelley Hoffman, Associate in Arts. I'd like to take this time to thank my family and friends who've supported me along this journey and to the graduating class of 2020, congratulations. Josh Holman, Associate in Music. Kate Holmes, Associate in Arts. Madison Hoxie, Associate in Arts. Carissa Hudson, Associate in Arts. All right, class of 2020, congratulations. Congratulations. Angel Huff, Associate in Arts. Kenneth Huffman, Jr., Associate in Applied Science, Business Management. I'm so glad to be graduating from Race Harbor College. Thank you to all the teachers who gave me a great experience. Athena Hughes, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Melissa Hurley, Associate in Applied Science, Business Management, Associate in Applied Science, Business Technology family and friends for their support as I worked hard to achieve my educational goals while being faced with many hurdles that were meant for me not to succeed. I especially want my children to know I did this for them. Jake Ionello, Associate in Science. Taryn Irwin, Associate in Arts. Honor Iverson, Associate in Arts. Garrett Iverson, Associate in Arts. Michaela Jacklin, Associate in Business. Desiree Jansen, Associate in Arts. Michael Jarvis, Associate in Business. Servan Jenkins, Associate in Arts. Madison Jensen, Associate in Arts. Shane Jansen, Associate in Technology, Welding. Curtis Johansson, Associate in Arts. Megan Johnson, Associate in Business. Kimani Johnson, Associate in Arts. Evan Johnson, Associate in Science. 
Hi, I'm Evan Johnson, and I'm graduating Grace Harbor College as a Running Start student. I'd like to thank my friends and family for helping me through my journey. Go Chokers! Gunnar Leavenworth, Associate in Arts. Sarah Jordan, Associate in Nursing. Cooper Carafa, Associate in Arts. Mary Grace Carlsvik, Associate in Arts. Anna Keen, Associate in Applied Science, Business Technology. A huge shout out to my friends, my family, my husband, and my classmates, without whom I couldn't have gotten this far. Thank you. Terence Keen, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. Brandon Kelly, Associate in Arts. Just a quick shout out to my mom and dad and the rest of my family and friends. Thank you for supporting me through this. And thank you, Grace Harbor. I'm excited to be a 2020 grad. Jamie Kelly, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. Sheanne Kelly, Associate in Nursing. Paul Kennedy, Associate in Arts. Caitlin Kindle, Associate in Arts. Dalen King, Associate in Arts. Haley Kohlmeyer, Associate in Nursing. Chrislyn Kohler, Associate in Arts. Kaylee Coomer, Associate in Arts. Thomas Lagergren, Associate in Technology, Carpentry Technology. Stephanie Lochner, Associate in Nursing. Max Lane, Associate in Technology, Welding. Marina Latimer, Associate in Science. Robin Lavin, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. Guadalupe Leon, Associate in Pre-Nursing. Ana Teresa Leon Luna, Associate in Arts. Mercedes Leonard, Associate in Arts. Abigail Loudenbach, Associate in Business. Bonnie Loveless, Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency. I'd like to thank everyone who helped me along the way. And yay, we did it. Paola Loza, Associate in Nursing. Eleanor Machawak, Associate in Biology. Zachary Madison, Associate in Applied Science, Chemical Dependency. Morgan Malizia, Associate in Science. Emily Malone, Associate in Arts. Tyler Marchese, Associate in Nursing. Jonathan Markhart, Associate in Applied Science, Business Management. Zachary Murat, Associate in Arts. Alex Marsh, Associate in Arts. Olivia Marsh, Associate in Arts. Noah Martin, Associate in Arts. Eden Martin, Associate in Arts. Katura Martin Gonzalez, Associate in Arts. Mackenzie Madisons, Associate in Nursing. Melissa May, Associate in Arts. Sean McAllister, Associate in Arts. Sierra McCarthy, Associate in Nursing. 
Amber McClung, Associate in Arts. Rachel McFadden, Associate in Nursing. Laura McFarlane, Associate in Applied Science, Business Management. Dimitri McKinnon, Associate in Arts. Chandra Mead, Associate in Arts. Juan Medina, Associate in Arts. Glenn Meisner, Associate in Arts. Juliana Meza, Associate in Arts. Shelby Michaelbrink, Associate in Arts. Brian McKeska, Associate in Biology. Jamie Miller, Associate in Applied Science, Accounting. McKenna Miller, Associate in Arts. Andrew Minton, Associate in Business, Associate of Arts. Kirsten Mirabel, Associate in Applied Science, Business Management. Matthew Mock, Associate in Technology, Welding. Emilio Monahan, Associate in Arts. Vanessa Mondragon Williams, Associate in Arts. Georgia Monte, Associate in Arts. Madeline Montour, Associate in Arts. Molly Moody, Associate in Technology, Diesel Technology. Fabiana Mora Lamperin, Associate in Music. I'd like to thank God and GHC for giving me the opportunity to graduate with my AA in Music. I'd like to thank my family and friends for supporting me. And congratulations, Class of 2020. Zechariah Morris, Associate in Arts. Lacey Mowry, Associate in Arts. Eliza Munoz Esti, Associate in Business. Jordan Murphy, Associate in Arts. Ryan Murphy, Associate in Arts. Audi Murphy Jr., Associate in Applied Science, Criminal Justice. Callan Neeland, Associate in Arts. I would like to thank everybody who has helped me get to where I am today. My family, friends, professors, and high school teachers. Thank you all for helping me graduate with Class of 2020. David Nessa, Associate in Arts. Jamie Nichols, Associate in Arts. Owen Nickel, Associate in Arts. Lourdes Norton, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Mira Odell, Associate in Arts. Malachi Olson, Associate in Arts. Annette Arona, Associate in Arts. Eva Ortiz Cruz, Associate in Arts. Kaito Otsuka, Associate in Arts. Kayla Palm, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Tucker Papik, Associate in Arts. Danielle Parks, Associate in Pre-Nursing. Brittany Patrick, Associate in Arts. Fiona Patton, Associate in Arts. Holly Peterson, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. Joel Peterson, Associate in Arts. Natalie Peterson, Associate in Applied Science, Forestry Technician. I just want to take a moment to thank all my friends and family for the support they've given me through the Natural Resource Associates program. I love you all and thank you very much. 
Alyssa Ponzisai, Associate in Arts. I want to thank all my family and friends for all the love and support, and a special thanks to my son, because, bud, I did this all for you. Without you, this would not have been possible. I love you so much. Ava Poehler, Associate in Arts. Tracy Potts, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Marsha Polson, Associate in Nursing. Madeline Prawl, Associate in Arts. Roxanne Quesada Rodriguez, Associate in Pre-Nursing. Jennifer Rachel, Associate in Applied Science. Casey Radke, Associate in Arts. Azuria Rambo, Associate in Arts. Bailey Rambo, Associate in Arts. Christian De La Concha, Associate in Arts. Jonathan Juarez Ramos, Associate in Arts. Felicity Rand, Associate in Arts. Stacy Rath, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. Jacob Rathbun, Associate in Arts. Emma Robb, Associate in Applied Science, Accounting. Benjamin Ray, Associate in Arts. Alicia Regoza, Associate in Arts. Edith Razzo, Associate in Arts. Judy Renteria, Associate in Arts. I am grateful for getting my associate's degree with the support of my family and trio. I am now going to my dream school, Eastern Washington University, proving I can do this and more. Isaiah Richards, Associate in Arts. Michaela Richardson, Associate in Nursing. Trevor Ridgeway, Associate in Business. James Reamer, Associate in Applied Science, Occupational Entrepreneurship. Isabel Reifenberg, Associate in Arts. Jeff Roach, Associate in Arts. Christine Robledo, Associate in Nursing. Myra Rojas, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Dakota Roos, Associate in Arts. Nicholas Rubin, Associate in Arts. Zaire Ruffin, Associate in Arts. Casey Ruggles, Associate in Arts. Jordan Ruggles, Associate in Arts. Jalen Ruiz, Associate in Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Ariana Salmond, Associate in Arts. Michael Sampson, Associate in Arts. Monica Sanford Solorio, Associate in Applied Science, Business Technology. Evelyn Santiago Torres, Associate in Arts, Associate in Applied Science, Accounting. Crystal Chamber, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Seth Smoss, Associate in Arts. Zachary Smoss, Associate in Arts. Deborah Schultz, Associate in Applied Science, Business Technology. Christina Seals, Associate in Pre-Nursing. Shout out to my family, friends, professors, and mentors over these last two years that have made the experience so great. I'm transferring to EWU in the fall to pursue a business administration degree. Thank you. Gustavo Segura Flores, Associate in Applied Science, Forestry Technician. Krishan Shepard, Associate in Arts. 
Alexis Sherman, Associate in Arts. Kaylea Sias, Associate in Arts. Brian Sida, Associate in Arts. Jillian Simpson, Associate in Arts. Jordan Skelly, Associate in Technology, Carpentry Technology. Anatolia Smith, Associate in Arts. Caden Smith, Associate in Technology, Carpentry Technology. Haley Smith, Associate in Arts. Matthew Smith, Associate in Arts. Erica Snyder, Associate in Arts. Rachel Snow, Associate in Arts. Maggie Sorensen, Associate in Science. Thank you to my dad, family, friends, coworkers, teachers, mentors, and especially Trio for helping me along this journey. Zoe Sorensen, Associate in Arts. Alexander Spoon, Associate in Music. Brooke Spohr, Associate in Nursing. Jessica Steen, Associate in Nursing. Benjamin Stevens, Associate in Technology, Carpentry Technology. Daisha Stevens, Associate in Arts. Angelica Stewart, Associate in Arts. Elijah Stopson, Associate in Arts. Michelle Stork, Associate in Applied Science, Business Management. Cole Streeter, Associate in Science. Catherine Streifel, Associate in Arts. Anisha Stroop, Associate in Technology, Automotive Technology. I want to thank Grace Harbor College and all of the instructors for just being so amazing and helping me get to where I am today. Brooke Sotherby, Associate in Arts. Christian Svinth, Associate in Arts. Tina Saipafe, Associate in Arts. Rachel Tagent, Associate in Biology. Caleb Tarnowski, Associate in Arts. Emma Terrence, Associate in Arts. Colleen Taylor, Associate in Nursing. Travis Taylor, Associate in Applied Science, Forestry Technician. Keisha Taylor, Associate in Arts. Hi, I just wanted to say a big thank you to my mom, dad, Wendy, grandma, and grandpa. Thank you for all the love and support. Even when times were tough, I wouldn't be here without you guys. Skylar Templeton, Associate in Arts. Alexa Templeton, Associate in Arts. Robert Thomas, Associate in Science. Michaela Thomas, Associate in Arts. Gracie Thompson, Associate in Arts. Kelsey Thornton, Associate in Arts. Stephanie Thornton, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. We did it, y'all! Parker Timmons, Associate in Science. Sydney Lorraine Tingwall, Associate in Arts. Shiloh Todd, Associate in Arts. 
Kylie Tao, Associate in Applied Science, Human Services. Kayla Travers, Associate in Arts. Kasia Tugaga, Associate in Pre-Nursing. Ashley Valentine, Associate in Arts. Christy Velapuza, Associate in Applied Science, Early Childhood Education. Livy Von Ogilvy, Associate in Arts. Lisa Voschel, Associate in Business. Whitney Vu, Associate in Nursing. David Wakefield, Associate in Arts, Associate in Applied Science, Accounting and Business Management. Lucinda Wakefield, Associate in Applied Science, Business Technology. Guadalupe Wakefield, Associate in Arts. Yvette Waldrop, Associate in Nursing. Darian Walters, Associate in Applied Science, Business Management. Taylor Angelique Ward, Associate in Arts. Tierra Joan Marie Garcia, Associate in Applied Science, Accounting. Kelly Watkins, Associate in Arts. Micah Wayman, Associate in Arts. Camille Weatherly, Associate in Arts. McKenna Williams, Associate in Arts. Dylan Wilson, Associate in Business. Jennifer Wilson, Associate in Arts, Associate in Pre-Nursing. Noah Daniel Winder, Associate in Business. Hannah Wirkala, Associate in Arts. Alexis Wonderly Leonard, Associate in Applied Science, Occupational Entrepreneurship, Associate in Applied Science, Business Management. Cameron Wyatt, Associate in Arts. Julian Yates, Associate in Arts. Timothy Young, Associate in Applied Science, Forestry Technician. Kiyla Zumstein, Associate in Business. In 2018, GHC awarded its first ever Bachelor's of Applied Science degrees. Tonight, we continue this tradition by celebrating the following graduates receiving these four-year degrees. Bachelor of Applied Science degrees. Elijah Abbott, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Management. Osvaldo Andres Gonzalez, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Management. Andrea Andrews, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Ashley Asham, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Brandon Bingham, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Management. Brittany Buchanan, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Sierra Bunnell, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Cassandra Campbell, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Caitlin Chapman, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Charles Dana, Associate in Applied Science, Forestry Technician, Bachelor of Applied Science, Forest Resources Management. Maria Ariano Chavez, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Brittany Church, Bachelor of Applied Science, Forest Resources Management. Chase Flemetes, Bachelor of Applied Science, Forest Resources Management. Brandy Foreman, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Taylor Alexander Miller, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Management. Carmen Noguer, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Management. Kyle Pauly, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Management. 
Allison Peterson, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Timothy Preston, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Management. Trevor Rodriguez, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Management. Ben Roop, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Nicole Ryan, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education, Associate in Business. Brenda Smith, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Michael Snyder, Bachelor of Applied Science, Forest Resources Management. Kylie Stenbeck, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Robin Sweet Smith, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Christine Van Ayersdale, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. To all my family and friends, everyone who believed in me, you helped me stay this course and achieve this dream. Thank you. Nancy Vasquez Fuentes, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. Evan Yankee, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Management. Michaela Yankee, Bachelor of Applied Science, Organizational Management. Felicia Zwolinski, Bachelor of Applied Science, Teacher Education. At this point, graduates, wherever you are seated at home or elsewhere, please stand. And if you are wearing your graduation cap, move your tassels from the right to the left hand side. Toss your hats in the air and cheer if you like. So. Congratulations to all of you watching virtually. We have proudly presented to you the Grays Harbor Class of 2020. That now concludes our ceremony. Thank you.